Thanks a lot, everyone, boys. So it is a very, very kind of, from what we can gather at the moment, this is a more higher end establishment to one that we visited earlier. This is the uh, top end, jacuzzi, uh, toilet, and the round bed. Um, it's all been cleaned and suitable towels, tissue paper, uh, obviously, um, this place isn't that busy now, but I imagine a number of hours it will be very, very busy indeed. While I'm looking around the brothel, Julie is interviewing one of the working girls to discover if she has been trafficked. So, and um, you work four days a week, yeah. 7 p.m. to 5 a.m.? Yeah? yeah. Yeah, okay. And, and always here, no, nowhere else? No, only here. Do you have a, your passport at all? I have passport. I have okay. ID. I have. Uh, right. Is it, is it all at your home, and you've yeah, you've got yeah. access to that yourself? Have you? Yeah. Nobody's no, keeping it. Uh, no. Okay. Me. me. <laughs> I swear, I'm fine. Okay. Yeah. All right. As long as you're sure. And what we'll do is, before we leave, we'll leave you with some cards with our telephone numbers are. Okay. And then if you or if you find of anybody, like you say, there are no. people. If ever you can give them those numbers, and they can they can call us, and, and we can try and help them. Julie seems okay. concerned about the girl's welfare. I don't know. I think she's one that could potentially um, get back to us in the future. I mean, she insists that she's not trafficked, but um, um, you can only ask someone so many times. And, and in the past, I've spoken to girls like that, and then, as I say, two or three days later, they may give us a call and um, and ask for our help. So um, if she, I mean, if she, you know, does want it, then hopefully that's what she'll do. Julie and her team have gathered as much intelligence as they can and have offered support to all the girls. Julie and her team have gathered as much intelligence as they can and have offered support to all the girls. 75% of all trafficked people are women and 90% of them are forced into the sex trade, either trafficked by pimps or sold to work in the sex industry. I'm off to meet a young lady who was trafficked to the UK as a sex slave. She's asked us to keep her identity hidden because she's scared of retribution from her traffickers.